I mean, this is crazy. Um, you know, I can't believe that we get to say that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are Super Bowl champions. Um, it really hasn't set in yet, but you know, I'm really happy for players that have been here and given a lot to this organization to finally get some recognition that they deserve. And I mean, we get to do it all again next year. So I'm just excited for the future, what it holds. Um, and I'm sure a lot of other people are too, but I'm super happy for the success you've had on your YouTube channel. Uh, keep it going, man, and go Bucks. The Super Bowl means everything to me and my family. Uh, I was four when we last won the Super Bowl, and just to share that with my family now is amazing. It, it's a memory I'll never forget. It's a memory, a feeling that's gonna last a lifetime. Can't wait to more. This season has really meant the world to me. Um, I've been a fan for the, of this team for 20 years, and um, it's been a long time coming for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You know, the defense was outstanding. Um, Tom Brady was magnificent, and, and I just couldn't ask for anything more. Thank you, everyone. Shaman RTP, Skull Gang in the building, Real Talk Press, you know what it is. Mr. Buck Nation, my day one. We've been here for the, from the beginning. 2020 Super Bowl champs, we finally did it. What does this mean for me? Well, it means we get another one of these and we get to talk trash to the NFC South because there ain't nothing they can say to us now. Mike and Frank from the Beware the Bay podcast. Let me tell you what this victory means. It means everything. I've lived in a few states where I'm not the home team, New Orleans specifically, and I've dealt with a lot of crap. But this moment right here, this was the culmination of everything, the best moment of my entire fandom. I love this team. I love Tom Brady and I love a victory Monday after the Super Bowl. What's up, Bucks fans? This is Evan from the Cannon Fire Podcast. And while, you know, this Super Bowl 55 victory, for one, it's a great season. Thank you all for the support on the show. Uh, this victory is, uh, to me, what it is to many Bucks fans. It's one of the best days of my life, and uh, it's well-deserved. And every single Bucks fan, every single Bucks player deserves it fully. So thank you all for a great season, and go Bucks. What does this Super Bowl mean to me? It means my all-time favorite player just got his seventh Super Bowl ring, and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are Super Bowl champions for the second time. I mean, this is just great for the city. This is all the clout for Tampa Bay this sports season between the Lightning, the Rays, the Bucks, and the Rowdies. It's just great for the city. What it means here in the UK for us is those quarter past one in the morning starts, really late games, we're not going to bed until four o'clock in the morning. We're having two hours sleep and then going straight to work. All of that is justified when you win a Super Bowl like this. And really, it hasn't sunk in yet. And we are just so, so proud of the organization, so proud of the players, so proud of the community we got going here. It is such an unreal feeling. And let's do it again, Super Bowl 56, come on. My name's Jeffrey Benoit. I am homeless in Fall River, Massachusetts. See my tent, the snow. I ain't got a whole lot to be happy about. But go Tom Brady, go Rob Gronkowski, go Bucks Nation, James, Mr. Bucks Nation. You brought me the Super Bowl. I have no TV. I had you. Go Bucks. Thank you guys. I'm Albert Vonka from Czech Republic, and this Super Bowl run means a lot for me. I'm Bucks fan. I'm Tom Brady's fan, and all of my friends are uh, Patrick Mahomes or Saints fan. And this Super Bowl run, wow! Love you guys. Why is the Super Bowl so special? Buddy, this Super Bowl is so special. For me personally, because of the last five years that I've been creating content about this team, we beat the best every step of the way. We went into the playoffs and we beat the New Orleans Saints. We went in to the conference championship game and we beat the number one seed in the conference, the Green Bay Packers. And then we went to the Super Bowl and we weren't just facing the Bills or some other great team. No, 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 we were facing the defending Super Bowl champs who were on a terror spree and we put them all in their place. Dominated every phase. That's what this Super Bowl means. That's why this Super Bowl is so special. Uh, I just recently moved uh, to the Tampa Bay area and always been a Tom Brady fan. I'm originally from uh, the Northeast. There's nothing quite like a Super Bowl season to make moving to a brand new state uh, feel even more so like home so 
Uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, the next season, uh, the next championship. And um, as you say, James, go Bucks! All the hate and doubt that everybody tried to cast on this team over the years, especially this season, there's just nothing that can compare to how incredibly awesome this victory truly is for the team and for us. Hey James, Waleed here. Yeah, man, this Super Bowl victory for me, potential culture change for the best for years to come. Uh, I'm super excited, man. We're gonna remember these players, these coaches, everybody that's involved. Special year, man, something great. What's up, Bucks fans? This is Matt Matar from PeterReport.com. There's so many special things about this Bucks Super Bowl 55 championship, but number one, I'm most happy for you, the fans. You've been waiting a long time for this second Super Bowl championship from the Bucks. Bucks fans are some of the most passionate fans in football and in all of sports, really, so I'm so happy that you guys did it. Another thing that makes me really proud about this team is you know, they always had the talent around them. They just need to put it together. I'm so happy for all the guys that have been there for a long time. Levante David, Mike Evans, Donovan Smith, Ali Marpet, guys like that. It's their first time making the postseason and they win the Super Bowl. I couldn't be happier for everyone in Tampa Bay. To be honest, I'm still, I'm still shocked. I don't even know that this is real life. Like for real, did we really win? I don't even know, like this is crazy. We won it in our home stadium, our home stadium. Go Bucks! Winning the Super Bowl has meant everything to me. Uh, from going from the kid that saw us win it in Super Bowl 37 when I was 12 to now, 18 years later, we finally made it back and we won it. We won it at home. We won it in front of our fans. We got to celebrate it together. And for me personally, I got to see it uh, as a part of the organization, uh, which I've just been blessed to be for the last few years. I get to see people work so hard day in and day out the entire year, not just football season, to get the Buccaneers organization uh, where it needs to be for the fans, events, sales, marketing that I'm part of that staff, creative team. We have the best creative team in the business. There's no doubt about it. I get to see how hard they work every single day. And for us to all be world champions now, along with the fans of Tampa Bay uh, and celebrate it all together. It's just so special. So I'm happy it happened. Go Bucks, let's do it again next year. What's good, Buck Nation? It's your rude boy, Juan Agadello, and I wanna thank Mr. Bucks Nation himself, James Hill, for having me on. This Super Bowl means everything to me. The Bucks have been the laughing stock of the NFL for the last 12 seasons, and with a flick of a wrist, that changed when Tom Brady chose to play for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This team didn't make any excuses and still got the job done. When our backs were up against the wall, they rose to the occasion like Macho Man and shook the naysayers up. All season long and throughout the playoffs, the national media doubted the Bucks. I'm so happy for the city of Tampa Bay who in respects to football have had to endure the butt of jokes for too long. But not today, folks. We're finally champions, and let's not take this for granted. Enjoy the moment and keep firing them cannons, baby. What up, people? Shout out to the hooligans. Tampa Two Bucks on YouTube. Let me tell you what this Super Bowl means. This Super Bowl solidifies everything we've been trying to tell y'all for the past couple years, and we will be back. Shout out to the Tampa Bay Bucks for winning that Super Bowl 55. What the uh, Super Bowl means to me, uh, it means family, it means friends, people I've met along the way. And I want to start with you, Mr. Bucks Nation. Thank you so much. Old School, Princess Nikki, Peter Blake, Rick Brown, Samurai Ali, Stank Bastard, Poppy Latte of the Loose Cannons, Pewter Cash, Mr. Brent Allen, love you, my friend. Uh, Mark Ramirez, Michael Pless, Locked on Bucks, you guys, David and James, KB, Ken Barrett, Tampa Bay, Ruth the Truth, Greg Almond, T Bass, Trevor Sycama, James Curtis and Evan Winter, Bucks Report, uh, Bucks UK, Pat Donovan, Stephen Shea, EMT Ashley, Andy Finley from from over in Scotland and of course 
my guy, Ryan Suckup. You've been an integral part of this Tampa Bay Buccaneers team. I love you, my friend. Thank you guys so much. You guys have a great week. Through all the ups and downs, through all the games I've watched, all the seasons I've watched, this has been the best one, hands down. I couldn't ask for anything more as a Buccaneers fan. And with that being said, fire the cannons, raise them flags, and go Buccaneers. What does the Super Bowl win mean to me? I honestly thought about this for a while before the video, and I don't even know. Really, I don't know where to start. It means everything. Like, it's set in stone forever. Tampa Bay Buccaneers are world champions and it will never go away and that is just it's a blessing I'm so appreciative of the team and everything it really it's crazy so let's go Bucks go Bucks oh my gosh Super Bowl